Jacob Duffner here, and you're watching Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Walkthrough. And today we're going to do part two of the Galactic Warehouse Headquarters. I guess the last part was the warehouse, this part is the headquarters. I'm going to go in and get the Stell Battle in. And before I may cut off some videos for or videos, cut out some of the battles for time's sake. Because uh, I don't like these videos really going over 20. Really, I'm okay with about a half hour, 25 minutes is where I would like to be. Anything over a half hour is just not needed in my opinion. And... Ah, that's hurt him. Come on, why did he not? There. That's what I like to call power. Great job, the Koopa. Always enjoy those level ups. And that's really hurting them. Um, Koopa. Seriously? Another one? Let me try aerials. I'm gonna use aerials there. And great job. And now we just have one more. Uh, you have a little bit of variety, but your variety sucks. Probably don't need to do anything. Because that's just going to take it out in one hit. I felt really stupid if it didn't. But I had a very strong feeling. There's a portal here and a scientist. And the scientist had a cadabra. And is there anything over here? There's whole three portal. I'm gonna check to see where this one goes first. Uh, okay, there's absolutely nothing here. That was a waste of time. Check this down one here. That looks like that actually does lead somewhere. I'm gonna check the other one first. I like to run into my dead ends before moving on. Rest up. And now we're rested. You know what? Let me see where that other one goes.
And my Siri on my watch picked that up for whatever reason that may be. I feel like I'm wandering around aimlessly right at the moment. That's probably because I am. Oh, this is where that leads. Max revive. Then the other one in there moves on. That's what I thought. But I thought this was actually leading somewhere, which I turned out to be wrong. That happens from time to time. Not much, but it does happen. And my dog currently hears the neighbors outside, which he does not like for whatever reason. So if I randomly cut out, it's because I'm probably yelling at him to shut his face. If you want to see my dog, I have reels of my dog on YouTube. And time to go. Let's to go. Two Krogong, two Skunky, and a Glam Meow. And now I gotta choose again. That leads the stairs, and where do the stairs lead? Okay, that's the final section. Which I don't want to go yet. And this leads us to Luxor. Now, if I remember correctly, in the original games, um, you got the Master Ball here. Whether that's the same case, I don't know. I feel like there should be something here. Oh well. Now it's time to go face on the boss. No, I didn't mean to go that direction. Time to use the Galactic Key one more time. I see, you must be the trainer I've been hearing about. The foolhardy one that's trying to stand up to Team Galactic. Although, I hardly expected to see that the trainer is a mere child. Who are you calling a child, child? I've heard that our commanders had a rough time with you. I know why you're here, I can sense it in you. It's about you see Mesper as itself. Correct? You want to save them. I mean, everyone's forcing me to. I don't really want to save them. I just want to continue on and become the best there ever was, like no one ever was. If your heart aches to save them, go right ahead. I could care less. It will save the, me the trouble of disposing of them. But I must say, you are a remarkable specimen. Those Pokemon have nothing to do with you. Do they not? But still, you come to rescue them out of pity. Such pitifulness, uselessness, emotions. It's illogical and irrational. Pity and compassion are products of the weak and lacking human heart. You are compelled to come here by such vicious sentimental teddy. <laughs> huh, yeah. Oh, well. Now we are facing the boss. Cyrus. Just like Billy and Miley. And I will win. Like I always do. Eh. Jeez. Ah, Jenna's at 51. Holy goodness gracious. How is she just leveling up so dang quickly? Time for the thunder. Bolt. Boom! I, I absolutely love the background of facing these galactic 
bosses just look so nice and cool. Golbat. No, just use another Thunderbolt on that too. You can't win. Keep trying to tell them they can't win. But do they listen? No. Sneasel. I got uh, just the thing for that. Give it a little fire bite. And that thing will be down like last night's dinner. Yeah, I know it's your last one. And his pose is just so cool too. I don't know, I think Team Galactic well, it holds a special place in my heart. As I love the Force Gem games probably better than any. Well, Emerald and Platinum are my two favorite Pokemon games. And I really wish they made Platinum, remade Platinum, or remade Emerald along with Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. They had that little Emerald post game thing, but it's just not the same. How wasteful. Such emotions are not mere illusions. And like a illusion, blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah, I was right. You got the mask ball. He just gives it to you. Uh, and in my personal opinion, there's only one legendary in this game that I think the master ball is really, really for. And Mount Cornette's probably gonna be our next location because that's where they're heading. But the Master Ball. I would say probably Garatina. And I assume you can catch Garatina in these games. I'm not entirely sure yet, but Garatina was always, it's up there with the, one of those toughest ones for me to actually ever catch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another boss battle. But I... I also really struggled catching the three lake Pokemon. Like I would sit there for I think once time it took me like almost 200 balls for me to catch one of them. I kept having to restart the game because I'd run out of balls or and I'm always one to catch them in Pokeballs too. I don't use the the dark balls or things like that. I like to catch them in straight Pokeballs. Uh, I meant to switch. I hit the wrong button. Uh, switch anyways. Earthquake. It's floating, but apparently Earthquake works on it. Unless I use it and it tells me it doesn't affect it. That would just be my luck right there. Yeah, it has Lavate. I should have known better when switching. This is the third episode that I'm recording today. Everything Harold has is super effective against, and that's who I was originally going to switch to. I should have just done it. I had a feeling that it didn't work on Bronzer, but I was like, ah, I'll give it a shot anyways. Oh god, I hate confusion. Every time I get confused, I generally end up hitting myself. Actually, during this walkthrough, I've actually had very good luck. But when I play by myself, 
Shining Pearl, which I haven't played that in months since it pretty much came out. I've been pretty much focusing on this. Uh, keeping old moves. Toxic Croak, time to use Air Release and then call it a day. And Toxic Croak faded. You're a tough kid. I still pity the likes of you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just give me the money. And have me get out of here. What makes you so tough? Fine. Do whatever you want with these three Pokemon. Press the button on the machine to set them free. Crafted a red chain of from the crystals he took from these three Pokemon. The red chain is what you need to shackle something on Mount Cornet, blah, blah, blah. And it's pretty much telling you that's where we need to go. So, someone's gonna tell me how to get out of here. This green one over here. And that's a one way portal. So now we have to head to Mount Cornet Summit. It's right there, which means we actually have to head up from the south upwards, because otherwise we get we come this way, the boulder only goes to a certain point and blocks you in. So we have to head in from the south upward, so that's what we'll be doing next time. And I'll thank you all for watching. Please give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.